and I heard the shots, I ran outside and seen my son laying on the ground. And I'm thinking my baby is going to return home and he didn't even get to make it to school. We begin tonight with I Team 8 and the shooting of a 16 year old high school student as he waited at a bus stop. We have breaking news just into the newsroom. Police have made an arrest in the case. Let's get right to I Team 8's Richard Essex. Richard. Hollywood police have not released the name of the suspect. They have not released any relationship the suspect might have to the victim. 16 year old. Uh, Mr. Stokes had, and his family had moved to Johnson County just a couple of weeks ago. They were settling nicely into their new neighborhood. And his mother told me that he was starting to uh, settle right into the high school. She had no reason to worry until she heard gunshots this morning. My baby just was a, a beautiful person that was that's gone too soon. Just before 7 o'clock this morning, 16-year-old Tamario Stokes was standing at the corner waiting for the bus. When police say someone wearing a black hoodie got out of a car and fired several shots, police believe the attack was deliberate and the 16-year-old high school student was the target. His mother heard the shots. When I heard the shots, I ran outside and seen my son laying on the ground, shot multiple times. She didn't see the person that shot her son. She didn't see a car pull away. She did see her son on the ground. Her grief was too much to talk about. The person that pulled the trigger, her family and friends stepped in. How could you take a life that was so precious to many people? Like, he didn't, you know, he didn't deserve that. He was a kid, he didn't deserve this. The family's asked that we not show any pictures of Tamario. His father paints a picture of his son that was looking forward to a future working alongside of him. Landscaping, landscaping, landscaping. Daddy, get me a lawnmower. Let's do landscaping. Let's do landscaping. He wasn't a bad kid. Mm -hmm. All kids make bad decisions at one time, but he wasn't a bad kid. He don't deserve this. Right. I was told by one of Tomario's relatives that his mother had moved the family to Johnson County for a more peaceful life. They had found this new neighborhood to be to their liking. Their new life was going as planned until this morning. I thought it was going to be a regular day. My baby went to school and he come home and this cook last night made him a pot of greens because <laughs> that's what he liked to do. And I'm thinking my baby is going to return home and he didn't even get to make it to school. Um, the only thing I got to say to the suspect is, you know, you didn't have to do my baby like that. You took my heart right out of my chest. And I hope you find peace within yourself. Again, the Greenwood Police Department have made an arrest and the Greenwood Police Department have made an arrest and they are scheduled to have a press conference tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock in which TV will carry that live during our midday show. Now, Stokes went to the Whiteland Community High School, and I have been told that they will have counselors there for the staff and students through the remainder of the week. In Johnson County, Richard Essex, Wish TV, IT Mate.